G'day! In today's video I've got a HP All-in-One Model 24-DF0024A. This one I want to open up and do a RAM upgrade on. So doing that will be a little bit tricky. Do have to flip it over. And then we have to pry along this section here to lift this panel out to undo some screws and then the screen should lift up. Now you guys understand here. Let's take a second turn. Okay, I'm gonna move this away a little bit more. Couple of tools. Try a thin metal pry tool to begin with. Let's see if that will get under there. No. Ah. I'm just pulling it towards me. It's actually doing it. So no tools required yet. There we go. Now that we've gotten to here, see these screws along here. I'm going to assume that these various screws here all need to come out. So along here, all the way down. Oh, that one came out. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing it while it's standing up. I'm just purely doing that for the sake of you guys being able to see this. But preferably I'd have this laying just down. Flat on its back. Okay, all those are out. Then I'm going to lay it back down and see if I can lift this up. And after all that, I don't think I did actually need to remove those. I don't want to put too much force in there. Live in there, that'd be much happier. Uh -huh. There we go. If I go around this side as well. I still feel stuck. Ah, you see two more screws down the bottom here. They're hidden neatly out of the way. Down here. Now what we get. Bingo. Now from here, we could undisconnect the cables, but I reckon I'm going to be able to do the majority of what I need to do from here. If I can get my camera to focus. We have the RAM just here, two sticks of it. What do we have? We have 8 gig of DDR4. And I want to add another 8 to that, so I should be able to put this back in. Do take note of the notch just here. I'm going to put in the slot below, in, 
push down, that's installed. Go and add, oh, my camera will get focusing in. We'll add another eight gig into there. I'm gonna put that in the top slot up here into this section, push down, and we should look at something like that. And from here we should just be able to let it drop back down. So we'll run it back up at the top. Back up. Where are we? So there's like a snagging right here in the middle. As it is. A groove bit here. I'm trying to slide back down. This bit right here. I'm trying to get it to go back down here. Very challenging. I don't know if it's because the top's not in right, it feels like it's in correctly. Right, a little bit more massaging in. I'm going to pop the screen out a little bit to get it started. Got a flat edge screwdriver. Push it up. Jumped out of the way. Maybe I need to start in there first. In. Massage it up the top to make sure it's in. Work your way around. Keep pushing. Try to make it spread force. Don't just push in a little location. That real risk snapping the display. And from here, we put all these screws back in and the cover back on. I'm going to lay it back down just because it's going to be easier for me. Maybe 15, 16. Put those back in. So all the screws are now back in. And now we should be able to put this cover back on. Just kind of lining it up loosely. Upgrade a RAM. And there, once we've replaced it, hit the power button, we should get our LED down here. It may take a little bit of time, but we should start loading up up here. I was expecting a message saying that the RAM has been changed, but since there was no message, it just continued on. Right now it's got 16 gig in there. That should be more than enough. I do believe this may be a Celeron processor in here or a low-end Pentium, purely because it the, the sticker itself doesn't mention anything about i3 or 5. Anyway, we've booted up just fine. And as I suspected, we're running a Celeron J4025. Fairly gutless processor. Do you now have the 16 gig of RAM? They're getting acknowledged, which is nice, but I don't think that 16 gig of RAM is really gonna change too much with that low-end CPU. 